special edition of Paul W. Smith's 2020 Virtual Pure Michigan Tour. Presented by Pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan.org. Today, we'll virtually explore Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island. This morning's broadcast is sponsored by Grand Hotel, America's summer place. Once again, here's Paul. I mentioned uh, earlier, oh, by the way, we're uh, we're on WJR 760 on the AM dial. We're also on social media. And now also uh, there's a picture on our social media. If you're luckily around uh, WJR.com forward slash Paul W. Smith, Facebook.com slash WJR radio, or you can search WJR 760 AM on YouTube uh, and you can see us and hear us and you'll see the smiling face of the Grand Hotel Senior Vice President and Managing Director, Ken Hayward. Kenny, always good to see you, even with a face mask hanging from your ear. Good morning, Paul W. It's uh, great to talk to you again. It's uh, unfortunate not in person, but we're looking forward to seeing you soon. And uh, we appreciate the partnership with WJR as always and all all you do and spread the word about Grand Hotel. Uh, We're very appreciative. It's been a long relationship and we look forward to forward to it continuing. Well, we do too. We look forward to a long relationship with the hotel and a long relationship with you, Kenny, uh, because you've been our conduit for that relationship for how many years now? Boy, it's probably over 20 for sure. Yeah, Um, absolutely. Well, uh, here we go. You had, uh, because of the COVID-19 delays and all, you did have your opening yesterday, later than you like to open, obviously, but you're open. And uh, how did the opening go? Well, you know, Paul W., the last piece of the puzzle is always uh, guests, and it felt so good to have guests walking into our, our door, through our doors. Obviously, a little different. You can't see smiling faces with, with masks on, but we appreciate what our staff's doing and what, what the guests are doing. But, uh, you know, this place uh, is as beautiful as it is, as scenic as it is, as great a building as it is. Uh, what brings it to life? Our staff, our staff, and then guests. And we're here for the guests. That's what we're here to do. And seeing some of our guests walk through our doors that come multiple times a year or once a year for decades and decades. We're so happy to be here and and we couldn't be happier to be seeing them back doing all the things they love to do at Grand Hotel. Um, And we're very, very glad and appreciative to be open. I'll tell you, um, we've been coming there as a family uh, tradition now for a number of years and look forward to it. We're coming this coming week. It just worked out that way since we're going to be up there uh, to do the stone skipping contest on July 4th. We've backed it up a little bit and said, well, let's do our grand hotel family tradition. So we're really looking forward to that. And what I always would see before we started this tradition were the families there at grand hotel who had their own family tradition. And to the point of some of your workers have been there so long that they have worked with, served, yeah. waited on, done whatever they do there, accommodated the children of the people that used to be the children that would come with their parents. Exactly. Exactly. I love that. I love that. Exactly. And, it's, uh, it's a big part of who we are and what we're about. Um, those relationships that we have with our guests. Uh, we're all fortunate to be working for such a wonderful place and guests that come and enjoy it. Uh, we, we like making it come to life. And a lot of our wait staff, a lot of our front of the house staff, a lot of our back of the house staff, we have a couple, a family actually that comes twice a year, most every year, and they only make their reservation with one person. They always come and visit her when should they come here. They might bring her a, you know, a little goodie bag when they come. And it's just those relationships um, really do bring this experience to life. And, and we're so happy to have so many of our staff members back. And the other good thing, Paul W., is those, those staff members that are coming back uh, have an opportunity to mentor those that are here for the first time, meeting our new staff. They learn from, from people who totally get Grand Hotel. And they mentor these uh, new people and, and shape them into the type of uh, welcoming employees that we want. And that watching that happen too is also very satisfying because it really gets down to the core of what we try to do and what we're about. Ken Hayward with us. Uh, he is Grand Hotel Senior Vice President, Managing Director. Some of those new people are the new owners, Pivot Hotels and Resorts, uh, uh, an operating uh, vertical of award-winning hospitality management company, Davidson Hotels and Resorts. 
uh, how are they doing just between you and me? Yeah, just how between are, us and yeah. Doug. Doug's not sitting over my shoulder listening, <laughs> making sure I say the right things. Uh, no, I wouldn't you know. ask the question if I didn't think they were doing pretty well. <laughs> no, I know. Um, you know, the resources, that, first of all, the knowledge that they bring and experience. And in this situation, the resources that they brought to the table um, in, a, in a tough environment uh, have been uh, game changing for us to be able to continue to finish a project like the employee housing, to be thinking about projects that they're thinking about, even in a tough environment, and to have the structure, uh, to have the wherewithal to bring in some staff uh, in areas that we were a little short in. Um, it's it's just been uh, refreshing and not going to lie for an old, for an old dog it's hard to teach somebody you know new systems and new technology and things like that uh, but the the um, it's all beneficial it's all real time it's all um, it's all very worked out very very well and and who knew about covid and that happening and without them it would have been and not that it hasn't been a struggle but it would have been monumental if we hadn't had their guidance resources, leadership uh, to get us through it. And now that we have guests coming through our doors and we have more and more guests on the way, um, you know, I think the best thing that can happen is people that come and experience the hotels we open, reporting back to their friends, family, hey, it's a little bit different, um, but at the same time, all those traditional things we enjoy about Grand Hotel are all there and you need to go up. And I think it's gonna catapult us to uh, a lot of sh short-term bookings. That's the way people are booking travel nowadays. And we are looking and optimistic for a busy summer. Dan Musser said to me in his own words, there are a lot of things that these new people bring to the table uh, with improvements and polishing the jewel that he couldn't do, that they couldn't afford, but these folks can. So I'm very excited about that. Tell me very quickly before we let you go, Kenny, uh, you still have your uh, your packages like the Simply Grand getaway and family added value days? Yeah, absolutely. And the, the Simply Grand is new because it doesn't include any meals for the first time. It's it's just a room only stay um, with offering more flexibility in this current, current environment of not knowing if people do want to go to the dining room. We certainly have fine tuned that experience, but if they'd prefer not to, uh, for the first time ever, we have a, an experience where you can just buy a room at Grand Hotel no meals included. It's been very popular. And yet our family added value days, which we've talked about before, that is designed to for families to be here. With a lot of extra amenities, a lot of value added to it um, that is offered all summer long. Um, and the great news about that's different than some seasons, Paul W., for your listeners, is we have availability. You know, there are some years where we've been pretty well booked and we talk about it and we're picking this time or that time. Um, we're open, we have availability, and I hope people will go to grandhotel.com or call 1-800-33-GRAND because we have space. Find the package that works best for you and what you're looking for. And we have a wide range from breakfast only to no meals to the full complement of Grand Hotel meals included. But what you're gonna get is that same traditional experience, Paul W. Music in the dining room, afternoon tea, the flags and the geraniums on the front porch, uh, the pool, the bike riding, the golf, it's all here and waiting for people to come and enjoy. And we look forward to that happening this summer. So please come check it out and come and see us. Grandhotel.com, 1-800-33-GRAND. And we'll have our masks on when we're up there and you have yours. And in case you're wondering, those are a bunch of little baseballs that Kenny has on his mask. Just reminding us a little bit of the <laughs> records he still holds when he was working, uh, pitching on the mound for the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. All these years later, you still have those records. So it's good that you have a mask with baseballs. I, I don't have any records anywhere, so I just go to this one, WJR. <laughs> or I could go to this one, too, the famous uh, scream uh, that we got from the DIA. That was one of my Father's Day gifts. Very Kenny, nice. I'm looking forward to seeing you this week. Yes, sir. We'll be ready for you. Can't wait to see Kim and Sophie and Natalie and Adam. And I hope Jamie, I know he's busy doing what he's he does. But playing golf. Yep, I know he does. But uh, it'll be looked forward to seeing the family together. I know you value this experience and uh, we love having you here. 
Well, thank you, Kenny. Thanks so much. Ken Hayward, Grand Hotel Senior Vice President and Managing Director. They are open. Give them a call, 1-800-33-GRAND. Take advantage of that I didn't even realize, the Simply Grand Getaway. No food included. You go pick your food any way you want or anywhere you want. That makes it even more affordable to stay at this true jewel, gem, iconic America's Summer Place Grand Hotel. Thanks, Kenny. See you soon. Take care, Paul W. 7.30 at WJR.